Flight Day 10, moving day on board the International Space Station with the help of the astronauts from Space Shuttle Discovery. Almost all of the work that is needed to unpack and to outfit the permanent multi-purpose module, the newest module at the International Space Station, was completed on Flight Day 10. The crew members had to concentrate their efforts to unpack the remaining articles in this newest module on the International Space Station as well as to uh, disassemble a lot of the racks that had held some of that cargo and they take those pieces out of the PMM and move them over to the Japanese cargo module that's currently docked to the space station's Harmony module. Konatori 2 is due to be unberthed from the International Space Station March 28, and the International Space Station program wanted to get as much of that packing material out of the PMM and onto the HTV-2 before it leaves so that packing material can be removed from the space station and create more room for the crew members to work. The shuttle crew members worked mostly under the direction of flight engineer Katie Coleman, who had at her disposal large chunks of time to either unstow products or to do structural work inside the PMM. And the crew members completed virtually all of the work that was on the agenda for that today, the second of the two extension days that were added to Discovery's dock time at the International Space Station in order to allow that work to be completed. But there was maintenance work done on elements of the environmental control system in the U.S. section of the station as well. Early in the day, mission specialist Mike Barrett, assisted by flight engineer Paolo Nespoli, went to work on the carbon dioxide removal assembly located in the Destiny Laboratory module. That system, which is one of the systems on board that removes carbon dioxide from the station environment, suffered a short circuit in one of its heater beds earlier in the mission. And today, Barrett went to work to uh, find the short circuit and to isolate it so that that system could be restarted. It was an operation almost exactly the same as one he did when he was a member of the International Space Station's crew during Expedition 20. Station Commander Scott Kelly also had some maintenance work to do. He was in the Tranquility Module, where the oxygen generation system is located. That system required work done in order to install a filter kit, which was introducing some chemical materials to treat the water that flows into the OGS. The OGS separates water into its chemical components of oxygen and hydrogen, creating oxygen for the crew members to breathe. The installation of that kit is designed to improve the chemical balance, the pH, of that water so that when the system operates in the future, it will not create particulates that will gum up the works. That work will be completed on flight day 11, and all of the crew members get together for final transfers before they close the hatches between the International Space Station and Space Shuttle Discovery for the final time on Sunday.